Hey, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. And if at any point you can hear my dog in the background, I humbly apologize. He's right outside my window, but we're going to ignore him and focus on this transformation. So I'm starting off with my eyebrows and I'm doing that using my LA Girl Gel Liner in the color Dark Brown. And we're just going to outline our eyebrows. Now I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn and a flat brush to clean up my eyebrows. So what I did was I packed some more of that concealer all over my eyelids and then I set with my translucent setting powder before I moved on to eyeshadow and the first color we're going into is this dark brown shade and I want to take a moment just to look at my eyebrows because they haven't been looking this good in a minute. I'm proud. They're not perfect but I am still proud and on top of that dark brown we're going into a lighter shade of brown so for this entire eye look we're just using different shades of brown so this is a lighter shade that i found on my palette and i'm just using that to blend out where i stopped with this dark brown and right underneath my brows on my brow bone i'm going in with an even lighter shade um this was like a tan it's not white it was like a really light tan shade so yeah and i'm just making sure i blend all three of those colors together so this now this this is a hack that i discovered while watching a kiki adams makeup tutorial and basically what she did she took some vaseline and she used that to kind of create an outline for a cut crease, I guess. And what it did was it just cleaned up all of the eyeshadow that fell where she would have cut her crease. So, you know, her cut crease would be nice and clean and sharp. And I wanted to try it. So what the Vaseline did was it lifted up all of that dark brown shade that I had already put down. And once I was finished with the Vaseline, I just used the makeup wipe, wiped it off. And now we're cutting our crease. Well, I'm cutting my crease. <laughs> Using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. And the same flat brush that I used to clean up my eyebrows. And now I'm setting that concealer with some more translucent powder. And now adding some color to our eyes. That same light brown shade that I used to blend out the dark brown that I put on my eyes. I'm just packing that right in the center of my cut crease. So I'm not taking it too close to the inner corners of my eye. And I'm not taking it too close to the outer corners. I'm just mainly trying to focus it in the center. And for the outer corners, we're going to use that same dark brown shade again, blending it into this light brown shade that I put in my cut crease and into the dark brown that I used right before I cut my cut crease. For the inner corners, I'm using the shimmery shade in my palette that I often use to highlight. And yep, just blending it right into that light brown shade that I put down. And now, time for my least favorite part of doing my makeup. 
eyeliner. But I was honestly proud because it actually came out pretty decent this time. Usually one wing is way bigger than the other one. But this time it came out pretty decent. So I'm happy. So now I'm priming my face using my Magic Collection primer. Yep. And then after that dries we're going in with foundation. And I'm just going to blend out all of that foundation. Moving on to highlight, I am using my Black Opal Foundation Stick in the Shade Nutmeg. I'm putting that underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, forehead on the top of my lips, my chin, and on my jawline. And I am blending all of that out with my Beauty Blender. Now to contour. I, what I always do, I just take my Revlon Color Stay Pressed Powder in the shade Mahogany and I'm just dusting down the areas where you normally would contour. And to highlight, I'm just using this powder. It's in the shade Plum and I found this while I was shopping on Facebook. I love shopping on Facebook. You find everything there. And that's the same place where I found my translucent setting powder and I'm actually going to mix that in with this powder to fake okay so while I'm baking this lipstick I cannot find the name for this, but the shade, it, it's like a burgundy shade. So a burgundy, a purple, whatever shade you want to use, it will work because we only use like neutral colors on our eyes anyway. So the shade lipstick you use really does not matter at all. I'm lining underneath my eyes with this white pencil. And I'm using this burgundy shade that was in my palette that matches my lipstick. And I'm just smoking out underneath my eyes. Now I'm dusting off all of that excess powder. And at this point, I took off that band that was holding down my wig while it was still drying. Um, and I'm just using the same mahogany powder that I used to contour my cheeks and my nose. I'm putting that on my forehead to kind of blend in that lace a little bit better. So now here I'm adding on some blush. Then I'm going to highlight using the same shimmery shade that I passed onto the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm taking this fluffy brush and I'm going over my entire face just to make sure that I got all of the excess powder off and that everything is blended together as much as possible. And that is it for the look. 
So now I'm just combing out my wig and trying some different styles and trying to fix it as much as possible. This wig I also found while shopping on Facebook and it was a 10 inch bob wig that I purchased. I just trimmed it a little bit to get a blunt cut and I straightened it with my flat iron and that is it. And that is it for this transformation. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.